Good morning, motherfucker. Good morning, motherfucker. <laughs> Ya. Yeah. Hola hombres, hola hombrinas. ¿Cómo estás? Sí. Muy bien, gracias. Me tú. But it's also cool to move on. Good morning, brother. Good morning, good morning. Go get him. Go get him. Hey, coach. All right, coach. Hey. Start with the alpaca, which is going to be spicy. Alpaca is sled push, three rounds, rope climbs, legless. Kettlebell clean and jerks, and then push back to the finish line. I failed the last rope climb like three minutes before the time cap, and then I tried it again, didn't finish, so for me, I did what I what I could. So I am happy, not leaderboard wise, but fitness wise, and I know that I have to work on my next rope climbs. I managed to like pace myself, so at least I didn't get any failed reps in the rope climb. Um, so that was good. First ski, then sandbag squats, ski, then sandbag squats. I really like my legs because they are strong. I really like, like my squat pattern. So it could be a good event for me if I do it correctly. I felt pretty good going into and yeah, it's turned out pretty good. I didn't expect it to be fourth place, so I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, the, to do this event. Um, we all will be sore. I'm um, pretty happy that we did Helen, as you have saw, seen in the other video, uh, with Barma's Labs. So we are pretty like kind of used to do Barma slabs and I'm happy that it's not double kettlebell snatches as we did it. It's just like go hard and simple movement. So I just had to go with everything I could. After the third day, they will be cut to 20 athletes. I'm 19th now. There will be tomorrow one good event, the lifting, and one not so good event, the 5K run in the morning. And then um, I think today in the evening later will come out the, uh, the second event. Well, after day two, we so we already knew that the 5K run uh, was going to be there. 
So we knew that the first events uh, coming in Saturday is going to be tough. We just kind of accepted that that's another going to be another hit. And then there's two events that we can like attack. So this is really Morris's time to shine. Like he's got the opportunity in intervals and opportunity in the lifting to like put it on the floor. The lifting, he's going to be in the Coliseum on Saturday night, which is like lights on him. So, so I think there's two good opportunities on day three Saturday for him to gain some points. Uh, started with the 5k run and uh, it was like a strange situation because um, John brought me to the venue and he said like let's send back this event what means like let's go RPE 6 and I was like I never heard that before from you John. Um, so we did um, I, I, I had a kind of good warm-up run for 5k did like 20 minutes and 50 something seconds um, and the crowd I, I was able to enjoy the crowd in the morning in the sun like fitness people the 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 north park that was just like a good feeling for me to don't uh, go all out in a 5k run just feeling well not get exhausted to be ready and prepare for the last day and i didn't get last um, in this 5k easy run so that is something i'm happy about to be honest then i stepped into the ice bars for the second event yeah morris is going uh, he's i think I'm pretty sure he's holding back in this one, going like saving himself, uh, and then to have more to give for the for the lifting. It's kind of like sometimes you have to you have to make a decision, um, and it might be worth it if you know you're not going to get a super good score anyway. So just hold back, take this one uh, easy, and then save it for the lifting to try to get like good. Like what? How I think is the Modis is going to try to like go all in for the two other small, other ones today. So he's holding a bit back now, and then. Um, it's gonna come hot. Second event intervals. I thought, I really thought it would be a good one for me. And I don't, I still don't know what happened in the Colosseum for me. It was like going in, didn't feel well spoke with like the judge gave me notes for the for the box jump over and I was then mentally not focused anymore I couldn't breathe correctly so I would say it was like a fitness issue or like um, a preparation issue because of breathing I was breathing so heavy um, didn't don't know that from me in intervals because as you know I'm like a powerful guy and yeah didn't feel felt well, well haven't checked the leaderboard I don't know which placement I got there and um, yeah then John said okay all in for the last event of the day the plan was to be like fresh to have a good warm-up to um, there, were, there have been two cues from John I always have to think about. I will not tell you because then you would uh, PR your snatch, Manu. Um, I just focus on these two cues. Um, did what he said, I just wrote the numbers in pounds on my arms and just put on what John said. I didn't know how much it was. And um, then I did the last second decision on the clean and jerk because I saw Nick Matthew did two pounds more than me and I said, Okay, I'll do the same. I put on two pounds, like one on each side. I told my judge, okay, two pounds more. He said, okay, check. I think it was three, 357, I don't know. And um, yeah, then I did the, did the lift. atmosphere it was crazy and it was great being in the Colosseum to like not have a heavy breathing event just like uh, just a strength event and yeah I hit both numbers uh, for the snatch then the clean and jerk I um, went to 355 I think yeah 355 and then 367 like I said last um, second decision to put on two more pounds what saved me in the end because then I tied 
uh, in pawns or in in the ways with uh, Jeff Adler in fourth place. You know, we knew what was in our control, which was that Moritz just has to execute the lifts he can do and then hope for the best. And Moritz did a great job. Like, he went out, he hit exactly the numbers that he wanted to hit, could hit, and did that. We did our arms crossed to check it. Yeah, in that place here. Cool, appreciate it. Vamos. <laughs> Jose, she's a master. Oh yeah, for sure. Just in the middle? Yep. Cool. Can you hold? Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good you. evening. Thank See you. you. Mustang, big weights, six pack. <laughs> Living the You have only life. <laughs> only life. John just uh, John is calculating the whole time. Um, if it was enough for top 20 or not and um, the girls leaderboard isn't updated yet so it will take like 30 more minutes and John just said when we have a stress moment this is the moment <laughs> and I'm like yeah I had a stress moment when I did my second lift it was ah. 357 I, I was wondering why you were you were looking at your arm because of the so much pounds <laughs> Do the CrossFit Games, it will be fun, they said. Just saw the post, post from Morning Chalk Up. And I'm in... I'm the first name, so I think I'm 21st, but I haven't checked yet. Final cuts. Let's see, games, leaderboard. Five points. Three hundred eighty-seven for oldest, three eighty-two for Moritz. Twenty-first in twenty twenty-three CrossFit Games. How does that feel? Not too good, <laughs> because there would have been three more events, and yeah, we know what we have to do to climb up the leaderboard next year that um, I have to improve my fitness. I, don't, I know what I have to work on it's running and rope climbs and uh, we will work on that. We improved a lot from last year. That is the, like every event I did, I've been better than last year and I can't ask for more. I have a great team. I know what we can do um, or we what we have to do. I have a great girlfriend supporting me. Thank you, Denise. Ah, she's here. <laughs> <laughs> <Didn't do that. laughs> Kidding. Um, I have a great videographer on my side, thank you Manate. I have great coaches, Chris and John, and so I really appreciate that. Uh, and last but not least, Carmen, my manager, is helping me with all the stuff around to earn some money for food and for the rent. And yeah, I can't ask for more and we are not done yet. <laughs> <laughs>